and welcome to Tech 18. So we have a new feature, cool feature in Microsoft Fabric about task flows. As you can see it here, we can easily visually represent our data flow happening on a project in a workspace. So that's how it is cool here. And before going into that in detail, let's have a look into some documentation of that. Before, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I recommend you to please subscribe to my channel and share this video with others so that they can also learn from that. So it's a target audience is data analytics and solution architects who want to use the task flow to build a visual representation of their projects. And engineers who are working on a project and want to use the task flow to facilitate their work. So Fabric Task Flow is a workspace feature, so it's available on a workspace level. It's not at the tenant level kind of thing. So each workspace has one task flow. We cannot be able to create more than one task flow. And the task flow help you understand how the item are related and work together in a workspace. Fabric provides a range of predefined end to end task flow based on industry best solutions here. And before going into that in detail, I want to show you that this is just a visual logical representation of the data flow, but it's not actually happening each and every process like how we usually happens in power um, in the fabric data pipelines. So this is actually showing up the information here. It's, you will not refresh from one to second to third and fourth vice versa. It just helps us to understand how the data movement goes here on this one. So let's say, for example, you have a workspace. I tried this even in uh, the premium workspace. We'll also going to try that in the pro workspace just to make sure whether this will work on the pro license or not. Right now, this is on the fabric trial, so it is working fine. So to get started, we just go to this one workspace here, which I have it here. And then usually when you click on that one on the left hand side, let me zoom this here. On the right hand side, you have a list and the lineage view. So you need to click on the list view here so that you will get this separation here. So just drag to the bottom of your screen, then you will appear, it will appear in this screen. So this is the default screen which will come up here. And there are a few elements which I will quickly go through that. One is either you can select from the predefined one, select a task flow where they have given one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight kind of predefined templates, I can say. Uh, for example, in general, we have a six task. And what are the workload is going to consume for this kind of template? And what are the required items to be have on this particular thing? If we select an example, medallion architecture, then we need to have a nine task and it requires these kind of workloads. And these are all items that are responsible for that. So we also have a kind of basic machine learning models where we have a six model, and these are all the workloads that is required here. It is not mandatory that we have to use the same thing. It is predefined template, so if you want to use that one, then we can use that. If you don't need that, then we can create customized by our own here. So for example, here I would like to click here on the metal and architecture, and then click on select. So it is just adding up all this thing here. Like it is uh, get the data experience and we have uh, another options. Uh, we have initial process. We have a silver data and gold data. That's what we have discussed about the medal in architecture. I made a separate video on the medal in architecture in fabric. If you haven't seen that, I will recommend you to watch that video to understand how the medal in architecture works. So this is basically the canvas and on the right hand side, it will just give the information about the template and the detail of that. Uh, it is recommended to just edit here and then give it your name here. And also you can also change the description of that because whenever the new users come and see into this information, they can understand what it actually does. All right, and it is also giving the information about the nine tasks here. Uh, we can also make the changes here. If you don't need any kind of things here, then we can delete that. So for now, I don't want to use this here, the high volume data ingestion here. I can delete that. I can also delete from here. Uh, if I click on this one, then it's giving me this option about if you want to change that or not. So at the moment, I just need everything. So I just want to click here and delete. So I need the bronze. I need the initial process. I need the silver. I need the, this one and all these things. So now we have this further in place, how we can add that information. So you can zoom in and zoom out also here. So that for the bronze information, as we are in the workspace here, I have these many items available here. One is the lake house. Another two are the notebooks and one is the report here. So the bronze data, which is the lake house here, either I can create a new item from here or I can add to an existing item. 
for now we have a uh, existing item so we just need to click on this icon which is a pin icon if you want to add a new item just click on the new item then things will appear on the right side here so based on the selection it will recommend you it will recommend you the option what you want to add as a kind of the bronze data which is a store data information but if you want to show all other items like you want don't want to add the lake house or warehouse you want to add something else then you can click on all items here it will give you all other options whatever items which we have in the fabric so i'd like to add here existing one so just clicking on the pin icon and this gives the information about the things available on the folders on this workspace here this will not give you the list of in the folder it will just give you information about what available on the workspace so this is still pretty new so it will have some changes in future and i'm selecting this one let us and show up here so three items is added here and you can also see the three number is showing up here cool so now the next process is prepare the data so this here i'm going to add one notebook here so i'd like to add the lake house silver notebook here and the silver i don't have a silver data here because i am doing everything on one single lake house so i don't need that so in that case i can just select on this one on the right hand side i also have a delete option so i can delete that not only we can just rename this entire task flow we can also rename for each and every process here so we have a bronze data we can click on edit here we can just rename it here bronze data demo here and then we can save those information on this right so now you see we have missed this link here and this is a trial one uh, this is still in preview so this will not going to align automatically you just need to make sure that you align and then you need to do this one the arrow here so it is set up here if you want to move further this time this process then you can just drag and drop by clicking on that it's a regular drag and drop approach itself so now we have all these things and the next step is the gold one the further transformation which is going to happen is this one i'm going to attach this here and select the gold one and click on select so this is cool so we have this initial process and two of the notebook is set up here i don't have any golden data here but instead of that i would like to set up here as a golden data set here so which is nothing but this one on for my reporting purpose i can add multiple things also so you can see check boxes here when i mouse over here i can add multiple things or i can also add single thing here for now i'd like to add only single thing here which is this one default data set and here i don't have any machine learning model so i can click here to delete this options so if i scroll up i can delete this symbol here all right we have the visualization so the last part is the data visualization so when i click on the attach symbol i can add this report here and click on select so this is my entire flow comes up here when you select on any of these cards it's actually going to filter with the data at the bottom of your screen that's pretty cool so if i click on the blank space then this will give the list of available items in your data in your workspace and also it is added a new column which is a task and it gives the information about where it actually refers to here also we can just go through this or we can understand oh this is from the bronze this is from the silver this is from the gold and this is a reporting layer kind of thing or else we can also visualize from this task flow about how these things are happening here again this is not going to do this kind of kind of sequence process like once we do the bronze it will automatically do the prepared data it will also do this the golden data it will not happen like that it's not going to refresh any data it's just a visual representation of how the data flows on your workspace on this particular project so this is what we have seen about how we can do it using the existing template now if you want to create a new from the scratch then what we should do either we can click on this add preview options and then we can use this option to select a task flow or you can add any additional thing from here itself we have this kind of options here get data so if you want to get data from different sources then you can make use of that i will show you how these things works in this option so select the task flow in that case you will have these options about which one you need to select here if you want to select any of those then you can select that or else you can delete everything and click on okay but if you want to replace it with something else then for example if i click on the general and then click on select then it is asking you message about whether you want to replace or append this thing or not so here replacing will clear your canvas and apply the new task flow including task flow describing description and task appending will add the task to your existing task flow but will not change any existing task or items in the assigned to them so i would like to use the replace option this is not going to replace anything else it's just going to replace the column of that so where you assign that or not if you delete that flow if you delete this card nothing is going to happen because 
it is actually not replacing or deleting the content of the workspace. It's just removing the label, I can say. Yeah, it's a label itself. So are you sure you want to replace this one? Yeah, I just want to confirm that it will replace and add a new things here. Like you can see it is added up here. But it's still, if you don't need this thing, then you can just hit the delete option on the task. So it will delete everything. And then you'll see again the blank space here. So from here, we have a new option, which is add a task. From here, we have these many options. General is nothing but we can add any general and then use any information. And the get data is the card. We can use the get data to store. If you are storing some information like in the warehouse or a data warehouse kind of thing or in the lake house, you can use this store data. If you are preparing any data like I used here for the data flow activity or it's kind of a notebook activity, you can also add that. If you're analyzing or training the data using the machine learning model, then you can make use of that. If you're using a tracking of that, like if you want to have a live interaction, live track of the reports or data, you can use that. So if you want to visualize the data in the Power BI, then you can also consume that here. All right, first I would like to add here as a get data experience. So get data, I would like to add this here as a lake host, as a dummy case itself. And the next thing I'd like to add here, the other one, which is the prepare data. So I can click on the add preview here and adding up here preview prepare data. So by default it's adding up at any different places. So I'd like to add here and using this silver and click on select. So you can realign this here once it added on your screen and then you can just, it, this icon is actually appears on four directions. So if you want to add any direction, you can also use that. So here also we have an option about, we can swap, once you click on this uh, link here, you have an option whether you want to swap the connection or not. So right now the direction goes from get data to prepare data, but if you want to swap that, then this will move the direction from prepare to get data here. That's a cool thing. All right, so we have the prepared data. So I'd like to add another one. So clicking on here and add prepared data again. And here this time I'd like to select here the gold one. And finally, I'd like to add the visual data here. So visual data here. So four of them added at their different own places. Add symbol and here at this time I'd like to add four of them. I mean the two of them. Got it. So we can realign this, just drag and drop onto this canvas, and then you can place it anywhere, however you want. All right. So if I zoom in here, now we have a get data, prepare data for this one, and prepare for this one. So if I'd like to rename this one, clicking on this one, edit here. This should be the lake house. Uh, I'd like to give you the name here and save and there this has to be the silver and here this has to be gold and here this has to be report power be a report all right so this is how our continuous flow done and if you click on the blank space then it will show you the available space here if you remove something then for example if i remove the report from here or the data set from here. How would you like to remove this one? So selecting on this at the bottom of your screen, select this thing, or you can select the card here, then it's going to filter this to information. Select any of those one, and then on the top, you have the option about unassigned from all tasks here. Then it's going to remove from this one. And if I hit anywhere on the blank space, then you can see it's going to give me the list of available uh, items in the workspace. And these two are the blank because it's nowhere assigned to that. And if you want to, it's not possible for you to have one item in multiple stages. Like you want to add the lake house here and you want to add a lake house in another place, that's not possible. It's going to switch from one to another here. Only one thing is possible here. So selecting on the, again, this Power BI and clicking on the attach symbol and adding up these two things and then click on select. All right, clicking on the blank space, then we have the filtration of this option. So if you want to hide this one, then you can just click on this arrow it will just go up here and then everything will close. And you still we can see the task option where we can easily see about where we are going to use that information here. So this is all about how we are going to use this in the fabric. This is pretty cool. So now the last thing is we need to check if this is possible to do it on a pro workspace. So right now I just added a new pro workspace, which I'd like to open up here where I can see the development pro workspace here. So let's add a new item quickly on that. So let's add a report here, a dummy report itself, and let's add this to be dummy data.
or else let's go back to the report here quickly adding up any uploading any report from my system all right so now i can see this option is available the report is still importing and i can see it here so if i like to click on the add task and then here to be visualize the data so here i can select on this option and attach an item here to be this report and again i'd like to add another data here so it's adding here attaching function so this time it has to be report from this to this all right this is working fine so you can see we have added here so it means it is also working on the pro workspace itself so if i click, click on the workspace setting um now you can see this should be a pro workspace about the premium feature so you see it is a premium not it is a pro workspace here so that's how you can easily add the task flow in fabric in order to get your data visually represent how to move your data here if you like this video just hit the big thumbs up button if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed it just hit the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications but before do that if you are new to this channel just make sure you subscribe to the channel thanks for watching keep learning see you in the next video